Hi, I'm Kirsty of Guardian Angel Student Tutoring and I'm here uh, today to demonstrate to you how to create your own literature matrix. A literature matrix is um, a way of keeping all your research in one document, in one place and keeping all your references um, together and in order. As you can see, this one is in Excel. We start, we have, um, this is one I, I created um, while I was studying. Across the top are our references. And I've uh, put them all in uh, full in APA referencing. Obviously, use the referencing style that um, your lecturer has requested. Down the side, are all the topics um, that I wanted to cover in this assignment. There were um, five of them that I wanted to make sure are covered in this topic. Now I'm going to show you how to create this matrix. So we go to our blank Excel spreadsheet. We're going to start in cell B1, so it's column B, row 1, and up here you can see your fill colour is a little bucket. We're going to choose a grey colour. We're going to wrap the text um, so that it stays within the box. we are going to middle align our text within the box and we're going to center the text within the box and we're also going to make sure that all the borders show up so if I move my cursor away we can now see that the box is um, bordered all around it so I'll go back click on B1 and now we're going to copy this formatting along to uh, column P. So drop the cursor down to the um, bottom right hand corner and you can see it turns from a thick white cross to a thin black cross. Left click and then drag across to column P. And you can see all our formatting has gone across. Now for our topics section. So now we're going to start in column A, row 2. So that's cell A2. But this time I'll show you how to apply um, formatting across uh, multiple um, cells. We can left click in A2 and drag and select down to A4. We're just going to pretend we've got three topics in this um, in this section. So with these cells highlighted we are going to click on the bucket and the previously selected colour will be there. So you just click on it, you don't have to go into the little drop down list now. Um, we're going to middle align our text, but this time we're going to left align it. We're going to put borders on it again. And you can see already that's coming up across all the cells. Um, we're going to bold it and we're going to wrap the text. So we now have the, the basics there. Now the section where your quotes are going to go, and your information is going to go, so they're kind of from B2 down to B4 and then we're just going to, oops, we're going to pull it along to P4. And we're going to border it. We're going to wrap the text. 
and we're going to top align and left align that text. And there you have it. Now to widen your um, box, I'll make this go bigger so you can see, go up between rows B, uh, sorry, columns B and C and you'll see that your arrow turns, your cursor turns into a, a cross but with two arrows um, left and right. So if you click on the left button you'll see it comes up with the little but little bar saying width and we're just going to extend it a little bit along. You don't want to make it too big um, but just big enough to uh, fit some more text in. And then obviously your um, reference will go in here Um, we're going to say this was made in New York, New York, the city that never sleeps. And it was made by, published by Alan and Unwin. Okay. Um, so as you can see, this is going to be quite big text, even if I um, make that 100% um, percent view. So we're going to make our text just slightly smaller because if you want to print these out, at any time, um, you're going to want to have it on as few um, A3 pages as possible. So if you go up to this, um, so as I was saying, you it, you want to make it um, smaller. So we're going to go up to the um, box here um, in between row one and column A. And if you click on it, you'll see it highlights the entire um, worksheet. And I'm just going to make the text um, Arial narrow. Um, and I'll reduce it to something like 9 um, font. And now you can see it fits on um, one line. You can then readjust your box to make it fit. And you can do the same with the rows, so in between row 1 and row 2, you just get your same little arrow and it will give you a height and you can make it larger or smaller. Um, so we'll just make row A bigger, uh, column A bigger, and we're just going to put something in um, here, uh, anthropology, um, sociology and uh, psychology like my ologies. So then we would say, okay, L. Wood has said um, uh, anthropology is the best subject in the academic world. And she said that on page five. And we press enter our um, a cursor, um, box cursor, moves to the next line. However, Wood, we figure, also said um, something else on anthropology, but later in the book. So to get back into the cell, we just double click on the cell. You see it opens up. But we don't want to just start writing in the same line because it looks messy, it's difficult to um, tell one quote from another. So to create a new line within the same cell, we press Alt, the Alt button, and Enter. And you can see it's coming down. So uh, Wood also said um, anthropology is the study of culture. And for some reason my coat buttons have decided to not play nicely today. So she said that on page 10. Okay. Now say you're in the box and you suddenly think, oh my quotes didn't come up at the begin beginning of anthropology. You can use your cursor 
to go there. And if you use your arrow key, what you'll find is um, it'll move to the next cell because your arrow keys, as you can see, move you from cell to cell. If you press F2, it opens the box and keeps the box open so you can use your arrows within the box. But um, for beginners, it's often easier to use your um, mouse um, and your cursor um, because it gets very frustrating when you're trying to type something and you click your arrow key and you suddenly go out the box. Um, but experience um, will soon assist in that. So there you have it. We now have two quotes in the one box and uh, I'll go back to my example, um, earlier example. And you can see here where um, I have several quotes within the boxes. And they all have their page numbers as well. This way, all your information is in one document. You've got your reference. You've got what you want to say or what you want to talk about by that reference. You've got the page that they've said it on. You're not going in and out of documents. You concentrate on one document, book, journal article um, at a time. And when you um, print them out, it's all on one page. Now, I don't print mine out anymore, um, but I have a dual monitor set up so I can um, type and still have my um, matrix up. But if you would like to print them out, um, I'll just give you a quick um, run out, um, run through of, of how to set up the page for it to print. So if you go into page layout, um, you go into your margins, you're going to want to set them as narrow. My oh, PC is going to take a little time to just think about it for a minute. You set your page size to A3 because you'll see you'll fit more on that. And you're going to also change your um, orientation to landscape. Now, if you click out the page setup um, dialog box, this opens up the dialog box by clicking these little arrows in the bottom right hand corner. And you'll see there, you can also set up your page, your margins. In your header and footer, I suggest um, in your footer, if you go into custom footer, you insert the date, which is this little calendar here. And you also insert the file name because this will enable you to tell when you created it or when you printed it last or when you've last gone into it and also the file name will tell you which version you're using and it will also tell you um, what you called it. If you want, you can put the path name, the file path into it. Then this way um, you will be able to find um, where you've saved it and what you've called it. Um, because there's nothing more frustrating than not knowing what you've called something or where you saved it. Um, and then finally, if you go into Sheet, your um, documents will become larger and obviously um, will, will often go into more than uh, one page. So you want your references and your topics um, to be on every page. So you go the rows to repeat at the top and you click this little red thing here and you'll see it's saying tell me which ones we're going to repeat at the top. So the row to repeat at the top obviously is row one. 
then press enter and then the columns it's the same little red thing just below the rows we're going to click row a uh, sorry column a press enter and that will give us um, those repeated on each page and if we go into print preview this is what it will look like um, at the moment but obviously the more you put in there like I said the bigger they're gonna get so if I just click back onto the home button up here we're back in our um, spreadsheet now as soon as you start working on it obviously you, you should save it I've been a bit lax here um, because this is just a demonstration um, so you find where you want to save it so mine would be my um, external hard drive under my vlog and here's one that um, I had saved earlier so I would call it the subject name my name then I would um, say assignment oh, can't spell assignment assignment one and then version one and every time I go into that matrix I give it a new version even if it's twice in the same day it's a new version um, this gives you um, a backup if something goes wrong with your document okay so there you have it that is your literature matrix if you uh, have any questions you can contact me on um, my YouTube channel which is uh, Guardian Angel Student Tutoring um, excellent thank you very much for listening